A step toward medical super intelligence. That's what the CEO of Microsoft is calling the company's new artificial intelligence tool. So Microsoft says it can diagnose patients four times more accurately than doctors and at a fraction of the cost. So with people increasingly turning to the internet to diagnose their health troubles, Microsoft says AI could be transformational. So I want to bring in Will Knight, a senior writer for Wired, to talk about this new AI tool. Thanks for joining us. Let's get right to it. Tell us about it. Sure, yeah. So this is this is a uh, you know exciting step in this long-standing vision to to use AI to help with medical diagnosis. Um, plenty of work has shown that language models such as those used you know in ChatGPT can can potentially um, diagnose people's illness. But this is a, the most um, realistic simulation of the way doctors do it. They have the the model do things like devise what tests a patient should be given um, and go back into the back and forth with that is involved with diagnosing something. So it's it's still early stages, you know, but this this shows the potential of AI. And obviously there are a lot of pitfalls, there are a lot of issues to consider. But one of the most important things also is that this this shows that there is potential for AI to reduce the cost, which is obviously such a huge issue in healthcare. Yeah, let's talk about that. We know that healthcare is extremely expensive. So how could this tool really lower the costs? So in their in their experiment, at least they had the the model um, or the series of models optimize for cost. So try and figure out how to get the right treatment, get the right diagnosis, but factor cost into that and reduce the costs. And so that because the system is is in some ways, you know, they call it super intelligent or a step towards super intelligence. Um, but it can it can factor in a lot more data than a than a doctor. Um, so potentially it could it could help reduce some of those those costs that get incurred with treating patients. I, I should caution that there, there are other factors that, you know, this this needs to be tested in a, in a clinical trial, really, because there are things that the AI doesn't consider, like your doctor may know um, what instruments are available, or what kind of tests a patient would be willing to, to have and may factor that into their consideration. So, um, you know, it's it's early days, but there is the potential there to reduce those costs. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there is the patient history and the connection that a patient may have with the doctor. So how will the average person be able to use this tool and how will it actually take the place of a doctor? I know this is the initial stages. Yeah, so I mean, the I think one of the things that the uh, Microsoft executive stressed to me was that it's still an early stage. They haven't decided how they're going to deploy it, but they did note that a lot of people go to their search service Bing and enter you know information trying to get a diagnosis so we may well see this sort of thing be implemented in in uh, those kinds of tools that are already widely used to try and diagnose illness but it could also potentially help doctors you know the doctors already rely on a lot of technology um, and one one important thing to stress with this test is that they ask the doctors to try and make these diagnoses without access to those tools so they would potentially be uh, at a, you know, a significant disadvantage. And, but with this, they could be a big dis, big advantage because they could use something that can factor in a lot more data, a lot more information, and, uh, and analyze all those records much faster. Yeah, all right. Will Knight, Will, thank you so much. Appreciate your time.